Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of KH Reviews. On this channel, I like to talk through the pros and the cons of specific tech items in the hopes that I can hopefully better help you decide on what you wanna spend your money on. I do post new reviews every single week, so if you're into watching tech reviews on YouTube, please consider subscribing because every single subscriber does help and I really do appreciate it. So recently on my Instagram, I've been seeing a lot of advertisements for LoomCube, which is a company that makes light panels for for video conferencing and they look like really great light panels and they're adjustable and you can use them in a bunch of different situations it looks like but when I looked into purchasing one I realized they're pretty expensive costing anywhere from like $70 for an entry-level one all the way up to a hundred plus so personally I don't do a lot of video conferencing but when I have in the past I've usually used the window as a light source or possibly a small ring light and so I wanted to kind of start looking into possibly upgrading and getting something more structured for video conferencing. And so I started looking on Amazon and I did find one by FD Kobe that we are gonna review today. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're gonna first jump into what you do get in the box. And the first thing you'll notice is it comes in this nice hard shell carrying case, which actually I was pretty impressed with when I first opened this up. Because really the overall quality of this little box feels pretty good and it's gonna protect your light if you wanna throw it in your backpack or your purse. So we're gonna quickly just unzip this and open it up. So everything comes inside this carrying case straight out of the box. So the first thing is the instruction manual and let me know in the comments down below if you are an instruction manual person, if you would open this up and first read the instructions before going any further. I personally am not, and it's probably bad because I will try to figure it out on my own, and then if I can't figure it out, I always end up going back to the instruction manual, and I could have probably just saved myself some time by reading it in the beginning. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys are. So the next thing we have in here is the charger cable, which is pretty self-explanatory. And one thing to mention is I do like this little netting because you can put a bunch of different charger cables or anything in here and kind of use it as maybe a charger box or anything that you do throw in your backpack and you can always have all your charger cables in here in one spot. So and last but definitely not least, we do have the light. So the first thing that I did notice when I initially picked this light up out of the box was that it's pretty dense. I mean, there's some weight to this, which gave me an initial excitement that it was gonna be a pretty good quality light. So on the inside of this, there are 64 different light beads and that produces 4,800 lumens of light. And to really put that in perspective, if you take a 60 watt bulb or incandescent bulb, that produces 800 lumens. So this is gonna be 4,800 lumens, which is gonna be a very, it's, it's a really bright light. So this light is capable of producing both a warm temperature color and a cool temperature color. I have talked about this in some of my other lighting videos, but color temperature is measured in Kelvin. So the higher the Kelvin number, the cooler or more blue the light will look. On the other side, the lower the Kelvin number, it will produce a more warmer or orange colored temperature. So why is it important to have both the ability to do warm tones and cool tones? Well, if you're in a room more like I am with these soft, warm lights behind me, I would probably, if I'm in a video conferencing call, want to use more of the warm tones to help match my surroundings. Whereas if you are sitting by a window and you just need a little bit more fill light, you're gonna wanna use more of that cool light tone or the higher number of Kelvin to reach that perfect kind of balanced out light. So I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on the dials that are located on the top of this light. And the one on my left is labeled CT and that's for color temperature. So I can turn this on and I can twist that CT dial down to get more of that warm tone. So on the opposite side, the right side, you're gonna have another toggle that allows you to dim the light or brighten it. So I quickly grabbed my laptop here to show you how this stand actually clips onto or sits onto your laptop or any other device that you decide to use this on. So you just put it on the top and the first lip here will hold it on the front and then you just push this up to the back and adjust it however you want and it will stay there. Now, this is the only, just like that, this is the only negative that I have with this light is that this hinge here is very tight 
and this one is as well, and it'll stay and hold wherever you put it. Now this one that holds the actual light, which I said is pretty heavy, doesn't stay well. And what I would be worried about is I'd be in the middle of an important Zoom call or something, and I have my lighting perfect and it looks great, and then all of a sudden I bump my laptop and my lighting either falls off the back or moves enough that the people on the other end of the call notice that I'm using some sort of external light to light myself. All right, so just for fun, we'll flip it on here so you can get a little bit better of an idea of what it would look like. And I can turn it up, which is gonna be too bright, or turn it down, or change the color temperature, and turn it back up again. Again, too bright. So as I mentioned at the beginning, this light is fully rechargeable with a 2000 milliamp battery on the inside. And once you have it fully charged, it will last from two to 15 hours of use. And that's a big range. So when I first read that, I was like, that doesn't really give you much, but I'm assuming it just depends on how bright you are using the light. So if you have it on the brightest setting, it might only last for two hours. So after all of that, would I recommend this light to you to buy? Yes and no, it kind of depends on what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna use it on a laptop that you move periodically, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you're just okay with it maybe moving, but there is a bunch of versatility ability with this being able to fully adjust the brightness and the color temperature through the simple dials on this. And so in that aspect, the light is great. I would completely recommend the light if you're able to overlook the maybe flimsy stand. But I think that pretty much does it on this review for this light panel by FD Kobe that you can find on Amazon. I will link it directly in the description below. So feel free to check that out. But if you do have any specific questions about this, let me know in the comments down below or let me know how you would specifically use a light panel in your given situation. I really do appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you all in the next review. Don't wanna hold